Welcome to Sun, Moon, and Stars Intuitive. I am Oracle of the Ether, and I'll be doing a Twin Flame Vibe energy check-in reading for the collective. I'm going to get right into it. I've already shuffled, did my meditation, and asked for the appropriate assistance while I go into the ethers and pull out this energy that we need. I felt kind of bad because the other day I had to get off. Um, really quickly it's been a lot of activities going on um, with me I usually tend to feel the effects of uh, these uh, planets later on so it's either early in the beginning I'll feel it coming in or I'll feel the effects of it once it's starting to leave so I do agree reversals, however, if they come out reversed, okay? I'm going to go right in. Spirit, show me what it is I need to see. What do you want the teachers of the light to know? to know. Keep this up the light. Oh, all right, not quite yet. They want to pop out. They want to pop out, but not yet. Keepers of the light spirit was done in the dark. Shall come to the light. Seventh house partners, Chiron healing. Now, ain't this a blimp? I believe the last reading I did had the seventh house, seventh house partnerships in the reading. Okay, once again, this is a new deck, so I haven't gotten a chance to actually go through and read the book. Okay, so this will be an intuitive read. And if I'm told to go into the book, I will. Okay, how it works is for this particular part, you're going to pick a side, all right? Seventh house, the person here is ready for partnership. Um, I feel like a mystical, magical uh, scenery here. I feel a lot of love. And then on this side, which we have... Um, a duality and it's a beautiful 11 11 okay and then we have Chiron and, and um, this to me is having to deal with uh, you know the things of the of our old life the things that we had to go through to get us to this point here so those things are needed to be healed and I believe um, both are aware so I'm feeling like both people for this particular reading is going through some form of healing surrounding relationships okay this could be finances this could be uh, your home this could be partnerships of course marriages um, people might be getting divorces okay um, yeah all right let's go ahead and <clears throat> break it down this this deck is hot tonight. It is very hot and my heart is pounding so fast. My heart just stop and get some water. Show me what it is I need to see. <clears throat> All right, we have Saturn, the truth, Pluto, transformation, and Scorpio. 
I transform. Isn't that nice? Look at all those T's. Now, if if I didn't, you know, have it on video, y'all wouldn't believe me, right? All right, all right, all right. And then, of course, we have the meeting of the minds. In the middle, we have transformation. We have confirmation that everyone is in alignment. If there was doubts, is this my twin? No doubts no more. If there were um, questions, is this uh, karmic um, helping to uh, better, situ better the situation or worse, worse in the situation? I believe the answer is yes. Some of you may be dealing with the Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and I'm getting Venus also, so you might want to be aware of that. And also, South Node and North Node. So that's a lot of different avenues for people to cover. And um, I'm also being told to say if Mars pops out, in this reading without uh, you know with Mars pops out oh, definitely this is for Aries and for whatever else okay some of you might be dealing with Libras um, some of you again might be in the legal si um, legal system some sort of way either you work for the legal system or you're going to court for something or or your spouse or your child or someone that you know that is in your heart center may be experiencing some form of uh, transformation. Okay, they could be going to AA classes or they could be going to college or um, for some of you, you might have had a physical death and, and, you know, I have to say it, going forward, there might be a physical death. We already know um, that these are transitions. At least I hope that the twins that um, make it to me know the difference between death and transformation. So, um Jupiter returns. Okay, so this is in alignment, right? So I, I, I think Jupiter did return somewhere, you know. Um, so the benefits, okay? So some of you could be dealing with Sagittarius. You could have Sagittarius and your sun, moon are rising. You could um mm, ooh, why I'm getting Social Security benefits. Somebody, somebody is going to get social security benefits okay uh, yeah part of fortune increase so something is about to increase after something ends and oh south node okay yeah yeah after something yeah after something ends i'm getting a karmic debt possibly with the aries uh taurus this may resonate with you that you're uh, twin might be an Aries or a Taurus or your karmic something has to end with a Aries oh, that's that's interesting <laughs> oh wow okay and um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius you could have Aquarius Sun Moon or rising okay whoever this person is they know okay and at the bottom of the deck, ah, Aries, right? Aries, I am. So, yes. All right, let's go ahead and break it down. If I didn't have it on camera, you wouldn't believe me. All right. For those that are not dealing with an Aries, okay? And you know this resonates with you. I'm being told to tell you that you might be, uh, you might have Aries somewhere uh, predominantly in your chart and you might not know it. 
okay? And if you're not an Aries, that's just that's just um, simply saying that you will be beginning something new, all right? So if you know in your heart that this resonates with you, then stay in alignment. Clarify truth. Clarify Saturn. Okay. Saturn is clarified by the wheel. All right. So we got, we have again, the wheel. I think that is, uh, that goes pretty good with part of fortune increase, right? You see that? Let me get, let me, let me, let me get that real good for you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. So for some of you, something came out. All right. Something, oh God, look at these sixes. Something, uh-oh, something came out, all right? Whatever it came out, I'm getting, it's not, it, it wasn't the truth for some of you, all right? And for some of you, this was a good thing because this initiated the transformation, all right? Um this put whoever you're thinking of uh, back in alignment, back to focusing. All right, this could, this person, um, this could tie into someone's money, okay? Maybe a child support issue. Yeah, there were some illusions surrounding the situation. Someone got cut off. That's just it. Someone got up, got cut off. Clarify Pluto transformation. All this Scorpio energy, all this underworld energy is crazy. Pluto transformation. All right. Oh, okay. Just look at that. Okay, someone has stinking thinking. <laughs> was that corny? I know it was, right? Someone has stinking thinking because they had too many, um, you know, you, oh, that is so funny. I'm getting too many pick me's. That is too funny. Whoever this person was, they was conflicted because they had a, a bunch of individuals um, pining for their uh, attention. And it became like, it, it kind of made whoever they were dealing with narcissistic. So